Hi, I'm Stefan Muriel and I would like to, to show you the early stage of my new project, my new future extension, which is named Labials. So the UI are not complete, not definitive, just a proof of concept right now. And this is inspired by the, the work of Justin Putney, which developed uh, different uh, extensions for uh, Flash Professional. One is named FriendSync and the other is Smart Mouth, dedicated to lip sync inside Flash Professional animation. He worked closely with Chris Jojones uh, on it. And so, just if you don't know these two guys, just take a look at their work. And here, uh, for this demo, uh, I buy the the version, the full version of this character, which is named Dave, at cartoon uh, cartoonsolutions.com. Uh, the reason why I choose to to pay for this one for my demo is because you could also download a free version, which is not fully complete complete uh, regarding the body, the arms, etc., etc. But you have the head of this guy to make some lip sync animation, some tests with my panel. So, here the panel. So, I have here uh, a smart object, two smart objects, one which, which was for the proof of concept. So, a smart object, remember, is simply, is simply another PSD inside uh, a layer which is like a container, a smart object. So, I can hide the other and just show here the folder I want, but in place of the AB, that could be simply some labial. So here the full head, but that could be only the mouth and the, the head could be in the primary uh, primary file there. So let's focus on this on this thing. So inside Photoshop you can have uh, MP3, so you have an audio track, but you didn't have the web. So I can play. A O E. So I'll do that simple, just just saying the labials. Uh, so I screencast the uh, uh, the audition uh, the audition wave playing uh, during the playing of this of this uh, sound, and I put that inside my Photoshop. So it's easier now. That's my workaround to have uh, a wave inside the Photoshop. So now if I would like to have a, a E because it start to say E there. Just click at the at the rest row, you split and modify the letter inside the smart object. So split for E, and that's okay. So first time you split, you need because you have two uh, separate layers, you need via the timeline to just drag and drop the second one, and now that create automatically for you a video group. So now because it's inside a video group, you didn't need to do that again that, you know, put the stuff just after. So I didn't listen to the sound because I know it's the, it's the, the O, etc, etc, that's just a proof of concept. And, and that's okay, and you can uh, do the stuff, etc, etc. So, and if now you would like to modify the labial, because for, exa for example, uh, let me say a natural, uh, there, uh, for example, if you find this is not finally a O but but a V, uh, the labial, you didn't want to split again. That's the reason why you have this line which is modified. The first one is change the letter and split, and the second one just uh, modify. So I want a V, for example, I have a V or E, etc. etc. So you modify uh, an already splitted uh, labial. So please uh, give me some comments, some feedback uh, uh, in the comments of this video or send me an email uh, at colorization at gmail.com uh, if you want to have access to, to uh, as this uh, early stage, early version, this uh, pre-release version and give me more feedback, try it and, and that's all. So please, again, give me some feedback and I finalize um, soon this panel and put it in the Adobe Exchange.